what's going on delivery drivers and everybody else as you can see I'm not in my normal car she broke down on the way to the Eibach car meet and she just the timing jumped and the uh, the rotor inside the distributor broke so she is on blocks right now being fixed and hopefully tomorrow I will be back driving her. I've been driving my wife's car for the past two days and she's been driving her father's car because he's out of town so I am not liking the way this is mounted. Let me switch it around. So far, I've had uh, one delivery that was like $300 and it was for a pharmaceutical rep. And these fucking pharmaceutical reps do not fucking tip. I'm serious. It sucks so fucking bad. It's a $300 order. It was a little over $300. I get there, I set it all up. I, you know, set up the dressings for the salad, I set up all the plates, the napkins, the forks. You know, all that bullshit. The cups for the drinks, nothing. Fucking nothing. And the owner just refuses to automatically add gratuity. Just refuses. And these drug reps won't give a fuck, I guarantee it. I feel like it's just a, a waste of time to work for this pizza delivery place anymore. During the lunch, it's gotten bad. And it's been bad. Just another reason why I want to be a contracted delivery driver. My next delivery is uh, it's two large pizzas. It's fifty fucking dollars, and they have pre-tipped ten dollars, so that's always a plus. My wife's car is pretty nice. Having tinted windows just makes all the difference. But her car is slow as fuck. It's kind of loud though because I put a um, Skunk 2 intake manifold, a Skunk 2 70 millimeter throttle body, so the throttle response is far better um, than the cold air intake, which you know that doesn't add any horsepower, it just changes the, the sound of it, the tone. And I would have had my car done last night, but I had to uh, cut the belt on the air conditioning on the AC compressor because the tensioner pulley bolt or nut was stripped and so in order to get it off I had to cut the belt and so I went to AutoZone and got a new belt and it was late I should have got it earlier and they gave me the wrong fucking belt so I took it back and they didn't have the bell I needed. Because of that, I'm not driving my car. Because today it's supposed to be fucking 90 degrees. And there ain't no fucking way I'm going to be delivering pizza with no air conditioning when it's 90 fucking degrees. Not going to happen. Yeah, but I got two hours of sleep. I went to bed at 5 o'clock. I got up at 7 put my kids on a bus and then I went back home and slept for like another hour so I got three hours of sleep but not consecutive so I'm tired as fuck I gotta work a split today Ooh, when I get off work I'm gonna head to the auto parts place and get the right fucking belt I'm about to forget where I'm going the only real thing I don't like about my wife's car is that it's an automatic my wife's car is a first generation CRV. We actually. Jesus fuck. Jackass. We actually have another CRV, but the 
the transmission went out and I feel like the rear end because there are four wheel drive I feel like the rear end went out it's been sitting in my driveway for like four years um, but I finally am going to start working on it the original motor is a B20 which is a 2.0 liter and the 97 through I guess 98s yeah the 97 98s they have the low compression engine and there's like 120 horsepower which they fucking suck I mean they're they com they're completely underpowered 99 through 2001 they put a uh, they put higher compression pistons in them which bumped it up to like 140 horsepower and they also put a, a four-speed automatic with an overdrive selector it helped out definitely but it was still underpowered Honda fucked up when they did that they they really should have put an H series motor in it or I mean hell even like a f22 which is a 2.2 liter single cam VTEC even like the 91 prelude SI it's got the 2.3 liter or what is it no it's the 2.1 liter well, that thing has more horsepower more torque than the motor in this fucking beast and this ain't no small vehicle I mean it ain't it big it's a it's a mini SUV so my next delivery is to a the public school office building I deliver there like every day the lady's super nice she will tip me really well so I've been driving this you know JDM right hand drive Civic Shuttle and it's right hand drive so the steering wheel is on the other side and I'm so used to it now I've been driving it for over a year and the past two days I've been driving my wife's car and yesterday not once not twice but three fucking times I get into the passenger side and I'm just like uh, where's my steering wheel it's so fucking funny because when I first got the shuttle I used to get into the passenger side which is the driver's side normally and it's just like now that I'm so used to that car it's pretty funny people are all staring at me like what the fuck is this guy doing I would get into the passenger seat and sit down shut the door put my seatbelt on and then oh I'm in the wrong side I would get out and then come around to this side <laughs> About to drive through the ghetto in our delivery area we have these certain small pockets there it is where it's like government housing and it's like in the middle of you know decent areas but we just won't deliver to these sections in our delivery area just because the drivers don't feel comfortable and I mean there's, there's always like murders or police being called to these areas. We're not going to put our drivers in danger. Because some of these areas are kind of bad. Especially this area right here. And when these people call to ask to get delivery to these areas, we're like, no, we won't deliver there. I've had the phone call where it's like, straight away they ask if we're racist. It's like, you know, no. It's just the area, you know. There was a murder there just last night. We're not delivering there. Not gonna happen. You know, it sucks. And then they're like, nobody delivers here. Okay, well, there you go. It has nothing to do with being racist. It has nothing to do with race. It's just nobody wants to deliver there because it's a bad area. I'm sorry, you live in the fucking ghetto. But what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna put my life in danger to deliver in your area. And, you know, we've accidentally taken deliveries to th these areas. And, you know, it's fucking, it's sketchy as fuck. Some people just don't understand. Driving my ghetto words in these ghetto oh. problems. 